Our relationship to images has an ergonomic relationship. We walk towards images and whatever is there has a certain scale that conforms to the scale of our body and our distance to it. And as we approach it, something happens. We either find the connection or we lose it. Photography gives you the ability to play with that scale. Once you go beyond and you really blow the scale altogether, beyond the, the boundaries of what we understand ergonomically. This is the kind of images that I am I'm always interested in. To think that there is a grain of sand with a castle in it. You know, it's not just a, a trick, it's real. <laughs>
things that you've seen a million times, because that's what creates this little trick. You think you know it, and then you have to know it again. The idea is that you create a path, but you leave breadcrumbs for the viewer to, to follow. And this questioning about the image, when you're looking at something, you realize, how the hell was this done? All right, it looks like we got something here. So this is the first castle that we got with this new batch of grains. It's actually really nice now to sort of navigate through the image and see some of the details. When you look at the castle in, in the drawing, you see the, the outlines of the rocks that they're on top of, they're on top of mountains, basically. And they actually match the actual outline of the grain. So there's this really interesting symmetry, right, where the mountain actually looks like the grain of sand, and they're entirely different scales. The interesting thing about projects that connect scientists and artists, I think, it comes down to the point that we feel that we're always looking for the same thing. You know, we're trying to understand the world around us. I think photography in some ways is just sort of restarting. I mean, I think there's a whole new kind of photography kind of emerging now. A lot of it is happening because of this combination between computers and cameras and a new form of storytelling narrative can sort of emerge from it. It is a great moment to be a photographer today because photography is completely obsolete in terms of its relation to reality. We're pretty much at the spot where painting was around 1839 when photography was invented. Painting was sort of released from its relation to the factual world. Uh, painters had to think, what is painting? In a similar fashion, the relationship of, uh, between photography and reality has changed significantly with the advent of digital imaging. It's becoming what Leonardo mentioned as cosa mentale. It's, a, it's something from the mind, which has always been. When somebody tells you, hey, this is a grain of sand, there's this moment where the reality that you have in front of you sort of falls apart and you have to reconstruct it you have to really take a step back and rethink what that image is and what it means. And I think that's the motivating force behind Vic's work and why he wanted to do this project. It's so insignificant and yet so monumental. I'm very happy with the result. We should have started with that. <laughs>